Hello everyone, my name is Debbie. I am the creative director of 5D Fashion. This video is all going to be about this design up here. Yes, it's a beautiful design and I'm sure you're going to like it. It's about how to create a wrap design and also, you know, creating some pleats on that particular design, you know. So, um, of course, it's, it looks a bit complicated, but it's very easy to achieve very easy to achieve believe me okay so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please um don't forget to subscribe this is actually a reminder for you and also help me share those videos and if you're new on my channel today is your first time thank you so much for coming you're welcome now let's get started Okay guys, this is the pattern I'll be using and these are the things I will also be needing. My tape, my scissors, my tape measure, my pattern uh, master, my pen. So here I'm going to be um, getting the midpoints. You need to place your tape measure this way and fold it over to get the mid point and from this very point i'm going to connect to my bust point so i'm trying to check you know my bust point is uh, my bust pan divided by two so and this is where it is and i'm going to connect these two points together Oh, I, I extended the line. <laughs> no, please ignore that. It's not ignore the faint line. So this is where I'm going to be working on. And from here, I'm going to connect to the side this way. Okay. Can you see what I've done here? And slashing is the next thing and slashing as well here so all i'm trying to do here is to transfer my side that to the shoulder and also i need to tell you that this is a pattern that is folded so i'm going to be having okay the full front Next is to extend the waist dart to the nipple point with a straight line and just connect as shown. Okay. Can you see? So I'm going to be trimming the side. So just ensure you blend it before trimming out. Okay, so this is what I have. Next is to close the waist that. So all I'm trying to do here is to transfer the waist that to the shoulder.
so you can see that I have all my darts transferred to the shoulder now um, from the neck I'm going to go in by three quarter of an inch and from the side I'm going in by 3.5 inches that's from the side seam from the side inward 2.5 inches and from this on the shoulder this mark on the shoulder I'm going to connect with a straight line to the 2.5 inches on the waist line and you can do this with a curve your curve ruler but it has to be a slight curve it doesn't have to be deep so from the from this bust point I'll, I'm going to connect to the intersect intersection and from there I'm going to mark I'm going to measure half an inch from the half an inch point I'm connecting to the bust point again now this is like a, a dart to firm up that line This is very important when you are making a wrap top or blouse, okay? So whether it's going to be pleated or not, this is very important. It, it allows it to balance well on the body. And as you can see, I'm trying to close the that right now. Can you see? So now on the waistline, I am going to divide into, I'm going to measure like um, three inches or probably 2.75 inches in three places. Okay. The first one, the second one, can you see, can you see? So now I have about three points there. So it's going to like guide me on how to slash or create my slash lines. Can you see this is one slash line. So I'm going to be taking it one after the other. So now this one that I've just, you know, drawn here, I'm going to just slash as shown and transfer all the dart on the shoulder to the waistline to this part so as you can see i'm using my tape to secure at this point so now with this you know spot that is open of course i need another paper so i'm i used a white paper so that you guys can at least see what i'm using um, doing clearly now on the shoulder i'm going to divide it into two and from this point to the very first point that i marked okay can you see so i'm going to slash this as well so you need to create your slash lines or open cut it out accordingly okay not at once don't just open the three lines at once do it one after the other so that you won't get confused then once you slash you open by probably three inches or 3.25 i think here i opened by 3.25 inches so you don't need to you cannot control the that that the slash line that you 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 know you created the first time the one in the middle 
you cannot control it because it has to do with the dart that you transferred. So, but the other slash lines, you can control it by just measuring three or opening it up by three and a half or 3.25 inches. Can you see what I'm doing? So once you open, ensure you have a paper under it and make sure you tape it down. You need lots of tape to actually secure this pattern. Okay, and now that you've opened up, you are going to start pleating. You pleat accordingly. Can you see? This is how you pleat. So you pleat like that before And you can create as many slash lines as possible. Okay, it doesn't have to be three lines. It doesn't have to be what I have taught you or what I'm showing you. It, it depends on what you want. You want the pleat to be full. Fine, you can also do that. So this is how you pleat. And once you pleat, you secure with pins, very important. Then you can now use your scissors and open up and cut it and trim it out. You can see that this design is actually very, very, very simple. So this is what you will have at the end of the day. And it's very lovely. Can you see the bust area? Can you see how lovely it looks? So this is what you should have, you know, when you are done. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye. God bless you.